everyone, welcome back. I hope you're well. This is another weekly vlog starting on a Wednesday, um, which makes no sense at all, but we have a very exciting day ahead planned. So me and Danny, oh, hello. Hello. We are en route to London today because, um, so obviously, so you may know that we've started our own podcast and we are meeting for the first time in person, other than Alex, produce, producer Alex, um, the team at Audio Boom who make our podcast um, and we're having a celebratory lunch. Then, after our lovely lunch, we're going to go meet Hannah and Saruti from Red Handed for a drink um, because they basically, they, they gave our podcast a shout out and we're going to go meet them and thank them and just... I'm really excited because... I'm so excited to meet them. Yeah? Yeah. Like, um, it'd just be nice to get some experience, like, yeah, from people who have been doing it. And they're award-winning podcasters. Yeah. Cool. I feel like we're going to go meet, like, the best of the best in terms of when it comes to true crime podcasters. Like, we're going to go, I feel like a little yeah. apprentice. <laughs> like, yeah. teach us your ways. <laughs> <laughs> This is my dinner, chicky, a uh, wedge salad with some corn. Yeah. She's got the yes. same but halloumi and chippies. So we just had a beautiful lunch. It was just really nice to meet everyone on the team. So we met the team from Audio Boom that make our podcast. Um, I had my own managers there as well. It was just lovely to have everyone together. So we are now walking to go and meet the girls from Red Handed. I'm gonna ask them a few questions, have a have a drink, like get to, yeah, look at that. Just walked out of a street onto here. And you just see all this shit. I still get excited by London every time I come. We're in the pub, we've met the girls, I've got my Diet Coke and have a Diet Coke here. But we're here and we're with um, the Red Hannah girls and um, we're getting loads of inside tips. Quiet notes, Danny. <laughs> I'm secretly recording everything. <laughs> oh, hey, wow. ladies. Wow, that's a very fancy. It's very nice, cool. isn't it? Uh, I'm Hannah from the True Crime Podcast Red Handed. And I'm her co host, Saruti Bala. Yes. Oh, we're doing full names, legal names, <laughs> government names over here. Hello. Uh, tell us everything, yeah. all of your secrets. What would you like to go? Um, when? We've just started your exciting True Crime Podcast. Uh, we started roughly. A month ago yesterday. A month ago yesterday. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, that in terms of our podcasts, I said this. To, I said this to Danny earlier. I went, they're like us, but more intelligent. <laughs> oh God, it's, it's, it's an illusion. Yeah, yeah it's it really just, is. It's Do you use better words? <laughs> it's five. It's five years of script writing and look and googling synonym for yeah. terrible. Like that. Ah, <laughs> I see. When did you start uh, podcasting? So we celebrate. Cupboard day. Cupboard day. Because you're July, <laughs> summer. It's in the calendar. Peak summer. Peak summer. Obviously. Because we felt that. Felt that when we were in there. It was rough. Yeah. I yeah. Think, yeah. For context, their, fir they, their first episode was in a cupboard. Yeah. With a lot of violins. Is that right? The violin cupboard. Yeah. Because so Sue and I five years ago didn't know each other. We didn't know each other when we started the podcast. No, we did not know each other. We met at a party at Hannah's house when a high school, oh no, a primary school friend of mine was living with Hannah, and they were both his violins. Yes, he didn't play either of them, oh. but he needed two. He needed two. He's always needed two violins. <laughs> and I just got back from traveling, and he was like come to this house party like you know you need to like get back into London life so I came there got very drunk with Hannah mm. started talking about Jean Bonnet Ramsey as you do and then we were like let's start a true crime podcast you know obviously we're like <laughs> yeah yeah best no, house yeah. now but like that, yeah, we got to know each other through running the business together yeah, and it's yeah. like being married yeah like because oh. you, like, you can't just have an argument and be like I'm leaving yeah exactly you know, yeah, yeah. figure it out so we've you know we've got a, we've had to get used yeah. to each other yeah um, and we are very different but we're 
that's why the show works. Yeah, yeah. You know, the amount of times you get pissed, you're like, we should do this. Do every, well, we and then you do. Do every single do one all. of those crazy things you say you're going to do with a girl. I think you it's um, in a, yeah. in a, in a, yeah. an Ernest Hemingway quote that's like, you should always do what you say you're going to do when you're drunk because it will teach you to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Um, and and we those, did those it. are words to live by. We should have that on our um, yeah. red handed coat of arms. Yeah. Because they have I've said a lot of stuff. <laughs> We absolutely should never do that. I love your badge. <laughs> Thank you. Always it's gonna If always be repping. Um, mm. If you are a twenty dollar and up patron, this is what you get in the post. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a book coming out. Oh, last year. Yeah, last year. Uh, we wrote a book during lockdown. Yeah. It came out last year. What was the book about? It was about. It was a combination of all the things we learned during by that point. So yeah. we were basically trying to do it as, it, had, it went through a lot of iterations, it changed a lot, but ultimately what it ended up being was like what makes a person kill, like what makes a killer kill. Genetics, childhood, insanity, cults, incels, bigotry, sex. sex. Oh, that's love it. that! <laughs> When we started the podcast, we were just like, when we met about a party, we were just like talking about the Jean Benet Ramsey documentary that had come out, I think, that summer, because I'd watched it while I was traveling. Yeah, I think you're right. And we were just talking about that particular documentary, and we were like, oh, we can talk about that. Oh, well, we can talk about that on the internet and see what happens. And then you didn't realized... cover Jean Benet Ramsey for like four years. No, we didn't. We didn't. But it's still, I think, our best performing episode. I think so, still. I think so. And I think it's just that you just. You either drown or you like figure out how to yeah, manage yeah. the true. Water. Did, did, so yeah. did you did you both have like a real interest in true crime before you started? Like were you like avid like fans or were you just like sparked? Sure, no. I think I was because I remember when I finished uni and I didn't really know what to do. I did so I have an anthropology bachelor's, um, which was a total whim. Uh, and then I remember looking up a master's in forensic anthropology and right. I realised like the only university that actually does it is in fucking Dundee and I was like well I'm not moving to Dundee so that's the end of that so right. I, I think I must have always had in, like a, a forensic angle interest I think yeah. I've been like temperance bent yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was absolutely an interest but I think the, the people that are now because True Crime Podcast didn't really exist at that point weren't really big at that point I don't think we had access to the amount of information that yeah. yeah. True Crime Podcast now do so therefore they are much more advanced in their knowledge of things and cases and concepts so it's much harder to start one now than it was for us to start one yeah, five yeah. years ago yeah. when people also, their information levels are also a much lower level. So I've always been interested in maybe not less to do with um, true crimes a thing. I think I've always been fascinated by what people are afraid of. Out of context, yeah. that is a really terrifying sentence. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god, that's so cool! A boat! It was so nice meeting the girls. Oh, it was so nice meeting the girls. They gave us some amazing, amazing tips and encouragement. And um, they were just so willing to help, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, lovely. Thanks. Or just like, I mean, they're very well seasoned podcasters. They've been doing it five years. They have an entire team now. It's their full time jobs. They're going on tour. They've got books. Like, they're like A in the game. And, and they've done uh, it all themselves, and that's really cool. Like, yeah. They started. Yeah. Like, Whereas. Women being bosses. Women being bosses. So very much like appreciate their time and coming to meet us. So yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, if you don't know who they are, you should definitely check out their podcast because they sound a lot more professional than we <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're at the train. What you got there then? Do you get some snackies? Snack, snack. I get a little crisps. Mm. There's Crisps. something about like a Corby boring, but I don't give a shit. Ready salted, best flavour. Sometimes you just need it. Give me all that salt. I do like it. it. Oh, do you know what? I know you're not um, a meat eater anymore, but I do, and I don't really eat my, um, ham anymore. But a ham sandwich with just butter and ready salted crisps put inside. Absolutely. Um, I feel like crisps in a sandwich yes. are an essential, and my favourite combination is cheese and onion with uh, black pepper crisps. Mmm. Salt and black pepper. But I find kettle chips too greasy now. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, they are quite. Yeah. Not very. Oh. Hello, are you okay? 
pheasant and um <laughs> Because it was like, it was like squatting, right? And at first I was like, is it laying an egg? And then it was a colourful one and that means it's a man. Podcasting day two. God, we've seen a lot of each other, haven't we, this week? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I like it. I like it oh, too. Yeah. Cool, we were in London yesterday doing podcasting business and now we're actually recording a podcast. Well, we just finished. Well, we just finished it. Yeah. It was a horrible one. That was really... It was about Mick Philpot who was a scumbag, basically. Mm. Um, right, I'm cold. It's bloody but, snowing! Yeah, fucking Isn't snow it? today, and this the studio is lovely and it's soundproofed and there is a heater, but we can't have the heater on. Because it's too noisy. Because it will pick up on the recording. So um, I brought a blanket with me today. <laughs> I brought a blanket so that I could be <laughs> under that. <sighs> How's your snozzle? It's all right, actually. Healing? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's only... Oh, no. They say, leave it. Like, six weeks or whatever it is. But, like, I think you might have just pierced into my, one of my old holes. Because I had it a few years. Um, they don't hurt. Like, this, they don't hurt anymore. They're not. Yeah, and, like, it won't... I keep playing with it, but... It, Normally when you're healing it, it will catch, it will swell, swell, it'll hurt. Like this don't hurt at all. It's not catching on any like scabby bits. Like it's just, yeah. So Angel Phil cooked us a lovely dinner after tennis. I uh, really wanted McDonald's because, well, fine, my period is finally starting and I'm feeling a bit groggy and crampy. And so I was like, hey, what McDonald's? But actually, the truth of the matter was, I just didn't want to cook. So he cooked. And we had salmon stir fry. Um, I have been drawing on my iPad a design for a potential new mailer or packaging for the shop. It looks like this. Or, or like that. So, yeah. Having some fun here. Good morning. It's Friday, hope we're well. I have got in a very bad habit of working, being on my laptop and my iPad till like midnight, half half midnight. And I'm always doing shop stuff because I love it. But I get so tired, it makes me so tired going to bed so late. I normally go to bed at like 10. That's what me and Phil normally do. Just put new air freshener in. Um, what do you call it? And I know, I, I just, I get really into doing stuff and then the time just flies by. What do you call it? But I need to rest. I need to unwind. I need to not be on a computer. I need to, I need to have some proper me time. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know you can really enjoy your job, but like, like I think that it's important to not, be so switched on or constantly looking at a screen and I need to get out of the habit. I need to have a proper, I need to reset my nighttime routine of like having dinner, chilling with Phil, chilling with Phil, um, then doing my skincare and going to bed. I need to have a cut off point. My period proper started today and I'm like, because I had a city down day yesterday, I need an active day today. I'm popping out, I'm having my active day. I've done, just blitzed some tidying up around the house. My mum cleaned it the other day, so it's nice and clean, but there was just shit around. So I just sorted, sorted the house, stripped the bed, put that in the wash. Don't know how long the bed tubes are on the bed for. Too fucking long, that's how long. Um, and because it's the weekend, we'll have nice fresh linen sheets. Oh, it'll just be so lovely. Oh, hello. Today also my new thank you cards arrived because I ran out. So if you recently ordered something you didn't get a thank you slip, I'm now saying to you thank you for ordering. If you have any issues with your order, feel, feel free to drop me an email. <laughs> I bought some new ones and I made them real funky. So they're arriving today. I got some normal postcard size ones and business card size ones. So when people buy jewellery, because the jewellery is posted in a little box, it'll fit in there. And then um, I don't currently put like a packing slip in with the order because I thought it was ugly. Um, so I've had an idea. So I ordered some 
I ordered some little envelopes for the jewellery to go in. They put the packing slip on like a little bit of A5 craft paper. I just thought it looked nice and it'll go with the like the packing anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the way I I'm changing the way that I will do it. So I'm go buy some paper from Hobbycraft. Guess see what it's all about. Hobbycraft. Oh my god, I don't have five minutes. It's bloody snowing, hailing. And just like that, it stopped. Madness. You know where else had like really crazy weather? It's when I went to Chicago. Like that was hot, windy, and then blizzard all in the space of a few days. Madness. I have everything that I need now to pack some orders. Well, I wanted to wait until I got my new bits all here before I did the next batch. I mean, there were only orders from the last couple of days, so it's not like people have been waiting because a delivery went out yesterday. So whatever was between the pickup yesterday and right now. Uh, I think that they look pretty good, actually. My little thank you slips. I just had a nice little catch up with my friend Emma in Vancouver. I've put a Olaplex treatment on my head. I'm well overdue a hair wash, but I was waiting for my look fantastic order that I did I got. Because I bought some things that I want to try out for my scalp because it's very dry and flaky at the minute. Anyway, whilst it cooks my Olaplex, I am going to paint my door and my skirting boards in my um dressing room because it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. Same colour as I've done all the others. I love it. This is Black Heron. I hope it doesn't look bad because all the furniture in here is pale. Let's just hope and pray. Let's hope and pray. Had a very chill morning. Oh, I say chill. I got up, we got up, laid in a bit, had a nice breakfast, sat around, painted a second coat of paint in the dressing room, sat around again got ready I'm gonna go visit my sister I was gonna go I was gonna sit at home and binge watch the new Bridget Bridgerton today I was gonna do Jim and Bridgerton I couldn't be bothered you know, sometimes you're like I really want to binge watch tea I thought that that's what my Saturday would be about like oh yeah oh I'm tired I want to binge watch TV but now I'm now it's come round I'm like I don't want to sit indoors and binge watch TV I want to go out so that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'll binge watch it tomorrow. Who knows? See how I feel tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go visit my sister in her new gaff. She's bought her first gaff and it's, it's exciting. I asked for a cappuccino to take to everyone, but they gave me a puppuccino, but it's okay because I've I got my cappuccino and the girls have a drink tea. Welcome to Haley's house. Hey. Isn't it I'm nice? Really so much thought in that. It's so nice. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Bags of bags of painting potential. We just went on date a date. Well, date night. Well, we just went out for dinner. We were supposed to go to the cinema tonight to go see Batman movie. Anyway, we went to see Byron Burger for dinner. And uh and we finished our food and we were both like Should we just go home? watch a film at home we're gonna have a pamper because phil was saying about how his skin feels really dry so i was like oh can we have can i give you a pamper at home that's what we're gonna do